Good morning on this beautiful February day. Um, today, I'm actually going to be uh, talking a little bit about uh, amending the soil, specifically clay soil and also lawn maintenance today. As we prepare in creating our new flower beds um, or working on the existing ones, and incorporating our lawn maintenance into the process. Um, having a beautiful landscaped yard, uh, amending the soil and having a good foundation is key to being successful when it comes to gardening. Uh, we look at, you know, my state of Georgia. We have native plants that can grow in the clay. But I have found that when I amend the soil, I have bigger blooms, the greenery is just amazing, and I'm just getting so much more out of my, my garden bed by amending the soil. So what I wanted to do today is share with you some of the steps that I take. And part of the reason of doing this too is based off of some feedback out of my current videos is the prep work and me focusing on the prep work is due to the fact that our last frost has not come and gone and i'm not about to make that investment in planting plants to then us getting hit with a bad frost so that's part of the reason why i end up focusing up more on the cleanup but I do think it is important to be able to have, you know, an idea of what you can do when it comes to amending your soil to enrich it so that the plants, whether they're annuals, perennials, shrubs, or trees, are going to start off on, on a good fit. So like I said, what I'd like to do is walk you through my process, what I use to end up creating a beautiful uh, blooming flower bed. But then the second part is in regards to my lawn maintenance. We end up getting compliments all the time. Who does your yard? We do. <laughs> so I wanna walk you through that process too. So let's get started. I'm in my garden shed. Uh, because I want to be able to show you a visual of the combination that I use, which ends up being topsoil, conditioner, manure, and then I also incorporate in um, some of the Georgia clay. Um, and all of these products you can get at any of the big box stores or the garden centers, except for the Georgia clay. So... Um, like I said, I use a combination of these products to amend my soil. Well, I end up using like my big gorilla, I think it's eight cubic feet wheelbarrow. And I will be able to put in three bags of topsoil, uh, half a bag of the uh, organic conditioner, um, a fourth of the bag of the manure, and then any soil that I dig out of the holes minus the grass, um, I also mix that into it because, you know, like I said, these plants are native to the Georgia clay, but like I said, I'm just trying to give them the upper hand on being able to um, flourish in, in, in my garden bed. So these are the products that I end up using. Okay, so what I wanted to do was also give you an idea of, you know, what these products end up looking like. Okay, so this is the topsoil um, that I get. Um, this here is the manure. And this is the conditioning and the Georgia clay. And the one thing, you know, that I end up finding, you know, it's trial and error. You know, even though <clears throat> I have found the combination that I use seem to be um, beneficial 
to whatever I, I am planning. But a lot of times it's just based off the feel. You know, if you have uh, a plant that requires it to have good drainage, you know, and you are still mixing in some of the clay soil um, based off of the touch, you know, how does it feel in your hand? That's why I like using my hands compared to a, a, a shovel. How does it feel? Do Does it have the consistency that you think you'll have the good drainage? Or is it going to get bogged down because you got too much clay in it? So, uh, you know, a lot of it is, it, you know, the feel. How, how does the soil feel, you know, in regards to, you know, whether or not you have that good combination for your plants to flourish? Okay, so now for our lawn. There are a lot of steps that are involved in lawn maintenance. Um, one of the things that I think is just so important to make sure that you do is to aerate your lawn, especially with the Georgia clay, because what that will do, it allows air circulation, which encourages, you know, root growth um, for your lawn. And um, one of the things that uh, we do in prep before we have our yard aerated is when the yard is 50-50. And what I mean by that is 50% green and 50% still the brown Bermuda grass, we scalp it um, to where it is no taller than a half an inch. That way, when they come to aerate, they're able to get down deep and pull those plugs out, um, <clears throat> which in turn, like I said, allows more air circulation for root, root growth. Then we go clean up those plugs and then apply the humichar. And what that does is it adds nutrients to, you know, the, the soil, but it also helps retain moisture. So uh, I, I try to time it to where I know it's going to rain after it gets done so that when I do or we do apply the humidor, it rains and it's actually getting into uh, the soil underground you know to benefit from um the nutrients from it um this is my thing you know like i said there are different stages that we do uh when it comes to our lawn maintenance and i will have a later video um in regards to that process of um the lawn maintenance so that you guys can see because like i said we get asked all the time, who does your yard, you know? And, you know, we take pride in our yard representing who we are, the things that are important to us, you know? And I'm a firm believer in that curb appeal. You know, if you, if you invest the time into, you know, displaying a beautiful garden beds, what better compliment to your yard could there be then a lush green yard? So like I said, I'm going to have some other videos in regards to the additional lawn maintenance that we do. And then also when we are past our frost, I should say, um, I will be actually doing the full process of amending the soil and planting um, so individuals have that, that visual. All right. Well, thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner. If you found this informative, please consider subscribing and sharing because I welcome you on this journey with me. Have a great day.